Science has no boundaries. A formula can be written in Brazil or in Russia, and that immediately means the same thing to a Brazilian or a Russian. So science is global. Well, I fell in love with science when uh, I was 21, when I had the first opportunity to uh, spend time in a research laboratory. And it very soon uh, went even beyond uh, an experience of love to an addiction. I have uh, myself uh, covered um, nine institutions in six different countries. The added value that comes from the mix of cultures and the mix of the different ways of thinking about science makes it possible to come up with inventions and innovations that uh, probably would not have happened. Diversity, it opened doors that um, would not have otherwise opened. The other aspect of diversity is that during my time, I have mentored over 500 students who are some of the brightest people on the planet from 50 different countries. It's the ideal situation in which you make these serendipitous discoveries. What gives me a tremendous thrill is to uh, witness a student being incredibly successful. The attitude I have is if their level of success outstrips anything I've done in my life, I will surely be immensely satisfied because that would represent progress. Women in science are very important. I start with the fact that uh, my late wife was a chemist, that's how we met. You know, I speak from the heart. I have two daughters. Both my daughters are PhD chemists. My elder daughter married a chemist from Australia, and my younger daughter married a biologist from Hong Kong. So I can speak uh, with great authority about diversity. It is through my family, and I have carried the spirit of diversity into my laboratory over these 50 years. It just fills me with uh, wonder and pleasure.